Howdy, how we doing? <laughs> I'm Matt. And I'm Madeline. And we're going to walk you through week 12. Let's get started, Madeline. Okay. Um, well, start with this big guy up here because that's the first thing my mm. eye goes to. This is a blue Hubbard squash and we grew it this year as a trap crop, which meant that it was supposed to attract pests to keep them off of the little seedlings for the other squash. But luckily, the pests did not eat the squash itself, so we get to eat it. And it's really similar to, and it's a winter squash, so it's really early winter squash, and you can cook it just like you would a butternut or a pumpkin. You can make a great soup or risotto, anything mm. like that. It's good stuff. <laughs> Love that. Um, so uh, over here, we've also got some delicious items, some of our cherry tomatoes. This week, we've gone ahead and mixed them in. We've got the Peace Vine red cherries and our Sun Golds. Um, I'm thinking about making a pizza with those guys this week. Pretty exciting stuff. And um, also on that pizza, I think I'm going to throw some of this sage bundle in. So, mm -hmm. yum. Sage is also good on tofurkey. It's part of tofurkey. the recipe. Tofurkey. That's what I always think of it for. <laughs> I've never had tofurkey. <laughs> it's really good. Not growing on the farm, though, unfortunately. Um, so then we also have up here in the front, we've got some shallots. Uh, which we harvested a little while ago and they've been drying in the basement and they're like a sweeter onion They're really great for French cooking for soups and for sauces So that's delicious and I'm thinking that I might cook them along with the tomatoes And maybe some of the zucchini and peppers and make a really great ratatouille or a pasta sauce You could put the chard in too. It'd be awesome and use up everything. I love it so. you just, That was like <laughs> killing eight birds with one stone Beautiful. I was gonna talk about one thing I've been excited about recently is um, dehydrating my zucchini and summer squash and slicing it up nice and thin, throwing in the dehydrator and kind of getting some chips out of that, mm. which has been fun. Um, I also really like chard dehydrated. It's dehydrated good chard. I love dehydrated chard. I like it better than kale chips. So is it come out like a, it's like like, a chard it's, chip? But it, it's thicker, so it's got more of a crunch to it than the mm. kale. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, oh, we got peppers, yeah, Madeline. Yeah, and Monica made, said make sure to let everyone know this is not a hot pepper. Even though it looks like a hot pepper, they're actually all sweet peppers. So you can use them all like you would any kind of sweet pepper. They just look a little different than you expect. This guy is called a Jimmy Nardello pepper. We call him Jimmy for short. <laughs> this is an Eco Eco pepper. And they're both sweet and pretty. Mm -hmm. Just like these flowers. We also have in our share, which are also very sweet and pretty. <laughs> I think that's it, Madeline. Okay. Week 12. <laughs>